Hi, welcome to Local Matters. As you can see, it's going to be a little different today. We've got a great show. We've brought in some inventors. We have with us the MIT, the Lemelson MIT Invent Team from McMinnville High School. Let me introduce you to them. We've got Mac Whitaker, Maria Martinez, and Jamie Graham. Thank you for being here. Inventors, are you inventors? Yes. All right, you're inventors, good. Well, tell us what, uh, what's going on here. There was a grant made. Tell us about that, Jamie. Yes, so this is our refugee shelter platform. And this whole thing started about last year in the winter where um, we started looking into finding a solution for like the homeless community nearby. And we looked into this grant at MIT where they support um, high school teams nationally to build their invention. So um, we were selected first, one out of 35 across the nation, to just um, based on our idea of building a shelter. And I said, hey, you have a good idea. Um, do some research and see what goes. And over the summer, we worked really hard researching many patents and discovering the actual needs of what a shelter entails. And uh, we were selected one out of 14 to um, be funded to build our project. So um, right now, we spent the, the year um, building the project. All right. Now, you're solving a problem, right? Yeah. Maria, um, tell us about that. So as Jamie said, we did a lot of research before we actually started building or anything like that. We researched over 150 different patents. And looking into f making a shelter, we found that there are already a lot of those kind of systems in place. But the one problem that they don't meet is that they don't get people off the ground. So looking at our client, which uh, we're looking at Nepal, they have, after their earthquake, they had a lot of rubble on the ground, just a lot of debris. Um, they needed to be off the ground. That was the biggest concern we had. So instead of creating a shelter, we created a platform. So then it can just be accustomed to uh, shelters that are already in place, and they can just put those shelters right on top of our platform. Um, Nepal also gets a lot of monsoons. So with that, we were thinking that we would also be able to get them on the, off the ground from water. So this uh, platform is actually just something that can be used alongside with a lot of systems already in place. Great. Well, um, Mac, how does it work? So the way it works is it's these custom steel brackets we've made, and it's all designed to be built by hand with no tools. And so these, um, these top parts here clamp down using just wing nuts that uh, refugees can tighten by hand over anything from three inches in diameter to five inches. And we've made this specific... Over these lengths of bamboo. Yes. So these lengths of bamboo are six foot long on each side, so it's a 12 foot diameter. Uh, we designed with bamboo in mind because it's very, very strong, it's very light, it grows very quickly, and it's all over the world. Uh, one of these six-foot lengths weighs only four pounds. And so once these brackets are together, they slot their leg pieces into this pipe here, and that's designed so they can level out the platform very easily by just uh, shooting that rod through the different holes. And then over the top of that, that structure now is a 13-foot trampoline mesh, actually. It's, it seems a little silly, but it's very strong. It's very comfortable. Um, water goes right through it, so that we don't have to worry about puddling on the top. And mm -hmm. then that's all tensioned together by a very innovative system that Maria came up with based sort of on um, the way an old seatbelt might work, so that it can be put together by anyone, whether they're a child or so the elderly, so that it can't hurt anybody, and it's designed to be as simple as possible. All right. Well, you, as you were inventing this, you went through some iterations. There was some design changes. Did you want to tell us a comment on that? So um, when we first started this problem, this project, we were really looking at an engineering problem and not a people problem. So this first, the first version of this was a lot smaller. It was made of entirely metal. We were trying to solve a lot more problems than these people really needed. So looking into that, I actually took our first prototype down to Mexico when we were building homes there. Uh, came back a week later and it was very uncomfortable, so we've designed it larger. Um, these middle pieces now go down to the ground instead of straight across. My back was in a lot of pain after that. Uh, we've worked on making it very user-friendly, making sure that they can build it without, without any tools, um, put it together, replace parts as needed. Bamboo is very easy to find. It can be replaced with PVC pipe or rebar or any, really anything. And then you reached out to other people about some input on what was needed around the world. Can you tell us about that. Yeah, we um, look, researched into working with a lot of emergency relief organizations, such as Red Cross, who've given us a lot of feedback on what refugee shelters um, need and what the communities actually like look for um, in terms of support. And um, we worked a lot with a local engineers, such as Autodesk and Neget, and trying to make a structure that is very sturdy and well built. And we also worked with volunteers in Haiti and Nepal who had um, experience with setting these structures up. And in the future, we're hoping to work on working with more with IOM, the International Organization of Migration, as well as Oregon State, 
on um, implementation of this project in third world countries. <laughs> That's an amazing journey you've been on. Incredible. Now you need some help. What, uh, what can we do for you? So in a little less than a month, we're going over to Boston, and that's because we're showing off our invention at MIT to the other 13 teams, the professors there, uh, any contacts we can find, and they will help us make this reality and really get it out into the world. And so we need about $3,000 to get all of us there and back safely, and we have a GoFundMe account, and you can just find us by searching McMinnville Invent Team, spelled kind of funny like it is there, on GoFundMe. Um, any, any little bit helps, even if... Like, people can't give us money. If they can give us help, if they know something about this sort of thing, then we'd love to hear from them. All right. Well, let's get one more shot of the, uh, the poster here. McMinnville Invent Team. Go online, search that. Mm -hmm. And if you want to contribute to this incredible project, go for it. Wow. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. Thank you. And good luck. Well, that's it. A short show. Let's help these folks out. <laughs>